Why choose Middlesbrough for a short break, you may ask? Well, apart from the fact I want to go on as many mainland railway lines as I can, there are some interesting sights to see in that area. In Middlesbrough is the famous Transporter Bridge, and a short walk from there is an RSPB reserve. From Middlesbrough I caught the train to Whitby and had a walk round there up to the Abbey before catching a bus to Saltburn for a short explore, then back on trains to Redcar and on to Middlesbrough. The next day I went to Darlington to see the actual station where trains first started, Stockton to Darlington. And continuing the train theme, I called in at the Locomotion Museum at Shildon on my way to have a look round Bishop Auckland. That day ended with a visit to Hartlepool, via Newcastle of course, to go on more lines. And it was an interesting three days in the northeast. I caught the Transprenine Express from Stockport straight through to Middlesbrough. And having booked in to the Holiday Inn Express, I then walked across to the famous Transporter Bridge, which was built in 1911. It carries a travelling gondola suspended from the bridge across the River Tees in 90 seconds. The gondola can carry 200 people, nine cars. Once across the bridge, it was only about a mile's walk up to Saltholm RSPB Reserve, and I spent some time there on a long walk all around the reserve. I returned to Middlesbrough via bus, and so after a nice meal, I settled down for the night. The next morning, I caught the train from Middlesbrough to Whitby. There is not many trains on this line, and I soon found out that this particular train was used by school children going off to school in Whitby. But the journey itself was very pleasant, a nice sunny morning through the countryside of North Yorkshire. I had a long walk around the town and up and up again to the church and abbey at the top of the hill with great views over the town.
After a good explorer of Whitby, I caught the bus about midday to Saltburn and spent a bit of time exploring the coast there and enjoying watching surfers on the waves. From Saltburn, I was back on the train as far as Redcar and went up the new tower they had built there to give views of the coast and the town. Although it was pretty windy at the top. And so ended my first full day in the Middlesbrough area. Day two, I caught the train direct to Darlington and on to the North Road station, which was the terminus of the first passenger railway service from Stockton to Darlington. This is a picture of Skern Bridge soon after it was built and here is Skern Bridge as it is today. This is all that's used today of North Road Station, a single platform. I caught the train a bit further up the line to Shildon where there is a railway museum called Locomotion. And after walking around the museum and looking at all the engines, I then caught the train for the rest of the journey up to Bishop Auckland and had an explore of that place and the castle, which was the former residence of the Bishop of Durham, who now uses it more 
as officers. And I had a great walk round the deer park attached to the grounds of the castle. Not that I saw any deer. After British Auckland, I had to get the train back to Darlington, but then I went up to Newcastle and to come down the coastal route to Hartlepool. And from Hartlepool, I caught the train back to Middlesbrough, stopping, of course, at Stockton and so ended my mini break in Middlesbrough.